Morning from Signal Road. This is BLM land. It's spectacular. It's fantastic. Um, I just, man, I'm getting so addicted to BLM camping. I can't go back. I can't go back. Maybe I'll do like a Walmart parking lot once in a while if I really need to be in the city, but like, usually I can work out so I don't have to be. It's just so nice being out here. Oh, anyway, um, injury. I don't know if I talked about this in previous videos, but, um, I didn't get it on camera, but I had two bad spills on the motorbike while I was off-roading with Sam there on that other BLM spot near Lake Hav Havasu. And, uh, one of them, I bruised my heel really badly. So I've been limping around for the last, you know, 48 hours roughly. And it's, it's coming up. The healing is, is much better. The coloration is, swelling has gone down. Coloration's kind of bad still, but otherwise we're doing okay. So hopefully in a couple days... I'll be walking normally again. I can start going back to hiking because I'm itching to get out on those mountains and stuff. BLM is so nice. <laughs> Chris is filming himself a, a little van tour of my video. Look at this. He's got sliders and stuff. Like, he's a real cinematographer, guys. The real deal. I love talking shop with about YouTube, van dwelling, remote living, nomadic living. Talk shop all day. It's great. I'm camping on BLM, the more I'm learning. It's not hard at all. This is actually really easy to find these spots. And they're not even really unique. They're just, each one is cool, but they're like, there's so many of them. It's so easy to find them that, I don't know. I, can't, I don't think I'm gonna go back to regular camping again or street camping or anything like that. This is just, how do you compete with this for free? Maybe you could set up the bed as well. Yeah, and I'll do that. that. On, on film, maybe put that in B-roll or whatever. Then we'll switch and record at the end. Perfect. Sound good? Sounds good. Let's do it. Guys, this is my acting debut. I'm gonna be on YouTube. It's a really big deal. I'm excited. Well, that's it for the hangout. Gonna hit the road. Have some uploading, some groceries to get. I wanna see some cool stuff and uh, gotta make our way to Santa Fe, so. Here's the guy himself. And there's his drone. Just come on. Some awesome drone footage. I'll actually give this to you. Come over here and shake my hand. Yeah. Yeah, I want that. And I'll give you the other yeah. one. Yeah, Tradesies. Absolutely. I'll give you some time lapses too. Yeah. Get on my game, you know. Everybody on YouTube knows I take way better time lapses. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> You're not supposed to agree with that. Oh, Here, no. By the way, this is yours. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. for today is the Roadkill Cafe. It's one of those uh, tourist attractions. I don't usually fall for these kinds of things, but my dad had the menu of this restaurant up in the garage, which is 4,000 miles from here for my entire childhood. So I looked at the menu the whole time. So I saw it on the side of the road, I had to stop. Menu is pretty much just a regular pub, but the theme is spectacular. The uh, tried to pass me by on rye, which is basically like a burger on a rye bread. It's pretty good. Guys, that thing is impressive. That thing is crazy. Can I get a little bit of video of this? Jesus. Oh my god. Sicily, California, where are you going? 
Florida. All the way across the deserts, pretty much the entire way. How's the over, is it overheating? No, not at all. Yeah? But, uh, you know, top speed's uh... <laughs> Balmy, uh, 55 50. miles. Okay, wow. I was joking, but you're serious, that's crazy. I just was at the V-Dub, uh, Arizona V-Dub meetup. Yeah. I was just leaving. This thing is crazy. <laughs> 52 miles an hour. All right. So I drove another three hours pretty much in the dark, which I don't like to do because I feel like I'm missing the country when I drive in the dark and I can't see the whole landscape and stuff. So didn't film any of it because can't see it. But, you know, I need to make long haul trips a little bit. I need to be in Santa Fe tomorrow or I want to be in Santa Fe tomorrow. Really, I don't need to do anything, but uh, I'm doing this because I really want my new camera. And um, I decided that I'd take a little bit of a detour and check out the Navajo Monument and Monument Valley and Valley of Kings and all that tomorrow. So I got up in position got this cool um, It's like a very established campsite, which is weird for me, but it's free. I Hope all my research says it's free. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make some dinner and uh, Hopefully the clouds clear up enough and I can get some star photos, too That's just the plan for tonight. You know, I need some time to decompress I, uh, the last few days have been fantastic. They've been so much fun. But like meeting with people all the time, I haven't really had time to edit. I haven't had time to like just on my own to like relax and you know do all the stuff that I like to do on my own. So I've gotten used to solo travel. I've gotten used to being on my own. So I'm gonna get a little bit more me time. Well, me and Champ time. See, Champies is super happy that we stopped driving. He's a fantastic road dog. He's so good at like being in a small vehicle. He understands it, but so every time we stop, he's like, yeah, it's adventure time. Even if it's like nine o'clock at night and I just want to crash, he's just like, let's go for a hike. I'm like, no, Jeff, I just want to make dinner and go to bed. And he's like, no, no. But right now he's eating dinner, so that's cool. I just don't know if you appreciate how difficult it is to be like judged by a black lab. <laughs> Like, I pull up a place, I'm just tired. He's, why are you tired? Why don't you want to adventure? What's wrong with you? Hey, he's pretty good motivation that way. Great guy to have on the road with you. All right, dinner time. I'm making penne again, but this time red sauce, sausage, bunch of veggies, should be good. Sausage, onions, tomatoes, spinach, some chili flakes, penne, mm, a little bit of red sauce just to wrap it up. Doesn't get much better than that, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good dinner. Well, that was delicious. Best way to cap off a series of pretty long days. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks uh, also to Chris to have me out, man. That's so cool. Check out his channel if you haven't already for some reason. I mean, he's a veteran of, of the whole, like, mobile lifestyle, the nomad lifestyle. So if you haven't heard of him, uh, where have you been this whole time? Okay. So check him out, and thanks for tuning in, guys. Good night.